S and T are positive integers. S over T equals 64.12. Well, the, the rule here is, is, is that it's the decimal remainder times the divisor equals the whole number remainder. You know, if I do 15 over 6 in my calculator, that's 2.5, for example. If I do 15 over 6, in the remainder notation, it's 2 remainder 3. What's the relationship? 0.5 of 6 is 3. 6 goes in 2 times, and there's 3 left over, which is half of itself. So what we could write here is 0.12t equals the remainder. I don't know what the remainder is. I'm just going to write that. So now we use fractions, 12 over 100t, and use the most reduced form of the fraction always, 3 over 25, so then multiply by 25 over 3. So t equals the remainder times 25 over 3. Well, so if thing, everything has to be integers here, you know, remainders have to be whole numbers. The remainder has to be divisible by 3. The only answer choice divisible by 3, 45.